know them as Anthony Ransom and Lita Williams, but after today, they will both be changing their names to Lita and Anthony Resolve. Ransom means mystery or puzzle to be solved, which may come in handy for you to know in just a moment. If you did not do so on the way in, please sign up for a reception. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Lita Marie and Anthony Joseph in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying to us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Jesus adorned and beautified in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into lightly nor unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons now come to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they cannot lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or else hereafter hold their peace. Anthony, is it your intention to have this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony, who you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. I will. And Lita, will you have this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? To live together in holy state of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I will. I'll be reading from 1 John 4, verses 7 through 19. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. 
God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him, and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed that the love God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because, as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. I now require and charge you both that as you stand here in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant that you are about to make, you do now declare your faith before this company. Be well assured that if these solemn vows that you are about to take are kept in violence, as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage. He will grant you fulfillment in it. And you will establish your home in peace. Hello. I would like to ask for a blessing on Anthony and Lita, soon to be Anthony and Lita, um, married a married couple. Um, Anthony is such a great guy. I have known him for a few years now, and he's really helped me, and I know a lot of people in his life. Lita, I've worked with the camp, and is another great person. She has a great character and is always there for people. I think Anthony and Lita are such a good match because they're always thinking about others, but they also think about themselves. I wish Anthony and Lita could lead on to have a great marriage. Well, that will bring them happiness as well as everything that they desire. Um, so here's to Anthony and Lita. Journey that you are about, both about to begin. 
So, Lita, as one of our favorite musicals, reminds us, as you stumble along on life's funny journey, as you bumble your way through life's crazy labyrinth, at times barely knowing left from right or right from wrong, the best you can do, this hope of Looper, will sing this song, as we stumble along. So here's to the two of you, may your new marriage and life's journey be filled with many Bluebirds along the way. From Paul's Epistle to the Ephesian Church, chapter 5, verse 21 through 33. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. His body and is himself its Savior. As the church is subject to Christ, so let wives also be subject in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the Lord, that he might present to the, the church to himself in splendor, without spots or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is a profound one, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. you're about to take your vows together. You've heard the blessings given to you. You've heard the word of God that has been chosen by you to share together. You understand that in the midst of this, that there will be times over the next decades together that you will have to subject yourselves to one another. You will have to set aside your own wants, your own wishes, so that you can support each other, so that you can live in harmony together. There will be times that even though you love each other, you won't like each other. And you'll tell each other that. But because you have made a commitment of love today, you will love together. Because, Lila, you'll have to subject yourself to this one at times. You will walk with him. You will encourage him. You will exhort him. You will have to at times chastise him and correct him. But when you do, Understand that you're doing it as his partner, as the one who walks with him. Not as a subordinate, but as an equal with him. Anthony, you heard the scripture tell you that you will lay down your life to the Lord. That you will place her first in the world of all things. That you will cherish her and nourish her. That you will always present her spouse. And we discussed that at the office, so I don't need to tell you anymore. <laughs> But we also know that the command at the very end, which is all it really says about husbands and wives, is that the husband needs yeah, to love yeah. and the wife needs to respect the husband. As you walk together, there will be challenges, there will be times when you're ready to call it quits. But if you see yourselves through those moments, into the days that follow, you will find yourself having a strong marriage together. You'll find yourselves able to face anything. And when you can't, turn to God. You have invited God not to be just part of this ceremony, but part of your marriage. Run to Him. Because as the two of you run to God and move your way towards Christ, you will find yourself coming together in your marriage. When you need to ask for help, there are a lot of witnesses out here watching you get married. And when you're in trouble, you can call one of them and say, what did I do? And they will say, you made a choice to walk together. They've made a choice to be here to support you, and they will continue to support you. They will continue to push you back together as you walk in marriage. These vows do not belong to you. They belong to the creator of the universe. They belong to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has given you grace and mercy, which you will need together as you live. Anthony, will repeat after me this. I, Anthony Joseph, I, Anthony Joseph, take thee, Lita Marie, take thee, Lita Marie, to 
be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. Later, would you please repeat after me? I, Lena Marie, take thee, Anthony Joseph. I, Lena Marie, take thee, Anthony Joseph. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. The wedding ring is an outward and a visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to us the mystical union which exists between Jesus and his church. Today, it signifies the union between the two of you, that God is knitting your spirits together. It's a sign that when people see them on your hand, they know that you have been possessed by another and that you have freely given yourself to another. It is a sign that God has knit your hearts together. You have these tied to the Word of God where you've placed your trust. So as you share these rings, we understand that your trust is first in God. <coughs> because you place your trust there, you're able to place your trust thereafter in each other. Let us pray. Gracious Lord Jesus, we thank you for Lita and for Anthony. We thank you for the love that they have for each other. And today, as they give and receive these rings, we would ask that you would truly knit their hearts together, knit their minds and their souls together, as they become one flesh. Make it so that when they're apart, they can't stand the moments until they can get together. Lord, may these physical reminders remind them of the vows that they have taken in your presence today. Lord, we thank you for your grace that sees us through the difficult times. We thank you that Anthony and Lita have already been tested before you, and they have found this relationship worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love, with this ring, with this ring, I am thee with, I am thee with, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Token and pledge. Token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The absolute very first thing that Anthony and Lita have decided to do together as a married couple is to pray. Again, signifying to us that they have not just invited God to become part of the ceremony, but part of their life together and center and first in their marriage.
As a symbol of their unity together, Anthony and Lita have decided to wash one another's feet. We know that in the Gospels that Jesus, when he partook of the Last Supper, before he went to the cross, stepped down from the table, wrapped his towel around himself, and knelt down and washed the feet of each of his disciples. We know that when he came to Peter, Peter objected. And, said, and Jesus said to him, if I don't wash your feet, you have no part of me. Peter's response was, well, don't just wash my feet, wash them all of me. Today in this service of marriage, you are all in for each other. But there will be times when you need to remind yourselves that you are still each other's. And you won't need to redo the whole service, but to serve each other by washing each other's feet. That may come in the form of doing dishes. It may come in the form of bringing dinner home. It may come in the form of just being quiet. It may come in the form of just holding each other's hands. But to serve each other as Christ served us is the highest form of love that you can give each other. So as you celebrate your union together by starting by serving each other and washing each other's feet, remember that all of the acts of love and kindness that you give to each other bring you back to this moment. First much, as Anthony Joseph and Lita Marie have been sent together in holy blood line, and have witnessed the same before this company and pledged their faith each to each other, have declared the same by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of grace, and have washed each other's feet as an act of love and obedience and of servitude. I now today declare and I pronounce that you are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder in that. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now may God bless you and preserve you. May God keep you in his presence. May God give you enough struggle in your life to turn to him and to each other. But may God pour his blessing out upon you. May he give you his Holy Spirit and fill you with joy and happiness. May he give you life together. May he anoint you. May he go before you as your front guard and you in behind. May he protect your hearts and your minds from this day forward. 
In Jesus' name. It is truly my honor to introduce 